First yes. of all, I can't even tell you. Screaming, clapping, Crap. laughing. Uh, I had no idea what was happening. Twist. Tom Cruise is known for many things. He is one of the highest paid actors of all time, a producer, and he does all his own stunts. He is also one of the world's best known Scientologists and has been in a number of controversies because of this. Yet it is undeniable that many people love his movies. His films are still some of the highest grossing films of all time and he keeps raking in box office hits. Let's find out more about this intensely private actor. This is Tom Cruise, his net worth, lifestyle, and how he spends his millions. Please remember to hit that like button for this video, then subscribe to our channel, and while you're at it, turn on the notifications too. Then you will never miss out on a thing. Just how much is Tom Cruise worth? He has had a long career and a lot of movies that were powerhouses at the box office. That meant that very early on he was able to demand a very high salary for each movie he made, and that he has had a lot of time to build his fortune and make a lot of money. Right now, Tom Cruise has an estimated net worth of $600 million. While he isn't a billionaire, at least not yet, he is one of the richest actors in the world, and there's still time for him to build on his fortune. But how did he make the money he has? Early career, even when he was just starting out his movies, were already making making waves. He started acting in the 1980s and had starring roles in films that would become legendary. First, it was in the comedy Risky Business that came out in 1983, and then in one of the most loved films of all time, Top Gun, in 1986. From then on, he received parts in dramas and action films that led to critical acclaim. He was cemented as a film star, and it would be decades before his popularity started to decline. What are some of his highest paying roles? He has had a lot of big budget action films where he could show off his stunt skills and create incredible scenes that blew people away. These are the types of films that generally make a lot of money and that earn the actors and creators working on them the big bucks. Two of the highest paying films that Tom has ever made were Mission Impossible 2 and War of the Worlds that came out in 2005. In fact, all of the Mission Impossible movies have earned massive gross revenue and with contracts that include back-end deals, these movies have made Tom an incredible fortune. He has earned an estimated $745 million in salaries from the start of his career up to 2019. That is a lot of cash, and with more deals that he has in the works, it's safe to say that his fortune will continue to grow in the future. He is also a producer. One of the major reasons that he could build the massive fortune that he has is because he also produced a lot of his own films. This gave him the freedom to decide which projects would get made, and it also gave him a bigger slice of the pie when it came down to the profits. In 1993, he founded Cruise Wagner Wagner Productions with Paula Wagner. They have produced $3 billion with their films worldwide. A major contributor to this fact was the exclusive deal they made with Paramount. Then Tom made some statements about psychiatry and antidepressants that were very unpopular and, in honesty, could have been very damaging to a lot of people. So Paramount dissolved the deal in 2006. While this was a blow, they managed to get funding elsewhere and continue to do their work. So how does Tom Cruise spend the millions that he's made? Flying lessons. It seems that Flying has been a major passion for Cruise for years. He really got serious about it after making Top Gun, but it was reportedly a dream to be able to fly since he was a young boy. He made his dream come true in 1994 when he got his pilot license. Then he went a step further and was seen taking helicopter lessons in 2016. Flying lessons aren't cheap, and it seems that one way he uses his money is by continuing to further his love of flying. And it just makes sense that he would own his own planes. For someone with the amount of money that Tom has and with the passion that he has for flying, it makes sense that he would go a step farther and actually purchase his own planes. Yes, I said planes, as in plural. He has a few and he pilots them all himself. His favorite plane is the historical P-51 Mustang that dates back to World War II. It has the words, Kiss Me Kate, painted on the sides. We don't know just how much this plane cost him. We can assume that it was a small fortune. With the history that comes with it, and if you look at the price of similar planes, then it's easy to assume that it would cost millions. While flying Flying in that plane has to be a lot of fun, it isn't very practical for traveling longer distances or if you're taking any luggage. And I'm pretty sure that Tom Cruise is not just the type of man to stand in a queue to board a plane. So of course, he also owns a private jet. And this doesn't seem like your run-of-the-mill small plane that seats a few people. No, it is much larger than that. This plane can go all the way from Seattle to London in one trip. It also has seating for 19 people and has all the modern comforts you would expect. Wi-Fi, phones, and 
seats that can turn into beds if you're flying long distance. And if you get hungry, you can always whip something up in the fully equipped kitchen. But he does seem to also enjoy using his money to help out. Once when Tom Cruise was a witness in an accident, he not only helped out and got the victim to the hospital, but he also ended up paying the bill for the emergency room. Another time when he showed his generosity was when his one-time publicist's daughter was getting married and Tom made sure to get her a gift. Or rather, he bought out her entire registry and he showed up to the wedding too. He has also never missed Dakota Fanning's birthday ever since they played in the War of the Worlds together when Dakota was 11. And he regularly gives gifts to others or pays for things that he knows they need. So it seems like he likes to take a hands-on approach when it comes to gift giving. One of the biggest expenses seems to be his donations to Scientology. There is a lot of cost involved in being a Scientologist. They need to pay for courses and other expenses to stay up to date in the church and to keep their position as one of the highest ranking members of the organization. Then the members are also encouraged to give donations to the church. In 2005, it was leaked that Tom Cruise had given a donation to the Church of Scientology of $2.5 million. If you add the other costs that you have to spend in the church, it seems that this can cost you a lot of money at the end of the day. But Cruz is one of the most famous faces of the church, and he has made no secret of his belief and that they helped him overcome the challenges he has faced. So, I guess it's worth it to him. Child support. It seems that he has no contact with his daughter, Suri. His ex-wife, Katie Holmes, has full custody of the girl. While there has been a rumor that he doesn't have to pay spousal support and didn't need to pay any lump sum during the divorce to Katie, he does still pay child support and carries the expenses to take care of their daughter. Another expense he has is his cars and bikes. It is easy to see that Tom is a bit of an adrenaline junkie, so it is easy to see why he spends so much money on special cars and bikes. He has an entire fleet of incredible cars, some costing him thousands of dollars. I think it's safe to say that he has a passion for collecting special vehicles of all types, whether they are the types to fly or to ride. I guess if you make the paychecks that he does, you are entitled to splurge on a few toys if you want to. Another big ticket item that he spends money on is real estate. The home he lives in is seriously impressive. It's pretty much a compound on its own, a little world where you can be cut off from everything. It even has separate homes. But this is not the only real estate he owns. He has invested in a number of properties. All of them are incredible and also incredibly over the top. But some of them are more focused on being homely places that have an inviting feel. I guess this is for when he just wants to relax. Looking good. When you are photographed as often as Tom Cruise is, it's important to always look your best. And for someone that is nearing 60 who makes his living out of doing dangerous stunts, then it's equally important to make sure that you take care of your body. So this is what he does. He spends a lot of money on clothing to make sure that he always looks his best. And he also spends a lot on training and nutrition to make sure that he keeps his body healthy and functioning at its highest level. He loves sports. And another expense he gladly pays is paying top dollar for the best seats at some of the world's best sporting events. He used to be a pretty impressive athlete, and when you take into consideration that he does some pretty impressive physical stunts, you have to admit that he still is an athlete in a lot of ways. So it's easy to see why he would be so interested in so many different types of sport. Tom Cruise has built a fortune, so it's interesting to see what he spends his money on. Thanks for watching.